Thomas. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for showing up. We, um, we're gonna, the three of us are going to get together and have an interesting chat on the fly. These are um, two relatively new friends of mine. I'd like to introduce Preston, who um, I've met through a mastermind. Yep, there's Preston. And um, mastermind in Skype that we're in a big community uh, of uh, marketers and bloggers and all kinds of amazing people. And he is a partner with uh, Magic Brad Goodim. And um, he seems pretty amazing so far. <laughs> go ahead, wave again. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And <laughs> there's the wave. <laughs> and so I'm just going to go ahead. We're going to dive in. And Brad, why don't you start out and introduce yourself? And if you want to, you can even introduce uh, <laughs> Preston better yeah, than I can. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Well, hey, Internet friends. <laughs> I go by Magic Brad because I started doing magic when I was a little kid, and I knew this Internet stuff was going to get confusing, and there was going to be a lot of Brents and Bryans and Brads, and it was going to get confusing. So that's why I just started using the name Magic Brad online so that I can get established, and it's sort of a branding thing for me. But uh, my background is in the magical entertainment that then got into events and producing trade shows and, and events as marketing. And uh, that's part of what we're talking about now is the concept of, of a live interaction or a live event that just happens to be online. And when I was doing my marketing, I had uh, connected with some people in Minneapolis that were also in the marketing area, and that's how I met Preston, ironically. He was working with this marketing company also, and then we reconnected, and Preston is in, now he's in Honduras. Preston, right? I am. I am in the beautiful Honduras, and it's absolutely hot all the time. <laughs> so it's really cool that uh, when we connected, we found out we're doing a lot of the similar kind of stuff, and we have some of the similar t interests. And part of that is being able to be remote, work remote, be mobile, and to do this at exotic locations like resorts and destinations, more tourist-type attractions. And then Preston introduced me to Julie, and she does this thing with Skype. And I think Skype is a very powerful tool to be able to get back in and look at people in the eye and be, be humans again, actually, actually do some human interaction instead of all this emailing and texting and superficial stuff. So Julie did, does some training and teaching about this, this Skype thing. So Julie, you want to just give a little uh, basics of what it is that you do when you train people and help people, how to use this Skype machine? <laughs> sure. Oh, on the fly. Let's see. Well, uh, people know Skype as video calling, and video calling around the world for free. Uh, first of all, any call around the world for absolutely free is pretty cool. But then being able to ha do that with um, with uh, video, um, it would look kind of like this, even in Skype. Um, and, and even being able to screen share and pass files to each other, and all the benefits, as well as the text chat. Um, is great for basically any business wanting to connect with their clients, customers, prospects, partners, um, you know, promoters, and collaborators. And um, so, what one part of part of what I'm finding my message is is that I want to move people from the initial branding that Skype has given itself in its la in the its its. Uh, Half life. It's second half of its life. Um, it's been around since 2003, so we're more than a decade old now with Skype. And people, it, we didn't start out with video calling. So one of the things that I like to educate people about and open up their eyes <laughs> about is uh, that Skype is much more than a video call. You could do conference calls. You can do communities. You can build entire communities, masterminds, collaboration. You could treat it like a forum. You can use it for support. You can actually have your um, your tribe, your followers build community and evangelize you out on social from Skype. So there's this entire world of, of uh, messaging that people are missing. So I teach people things like list building with Skype and list segmentation, which if you're 
if you're into marketing, list segmentation is awesome because then you're talking about relevant information that's interesting to the person um, you know, who wants the information. They want that engagement. They want that communication. So list segmentation within Skype is something that nobody's ever thought of so, or building a sales funnel. And an example of something like that because I know that a lot of the, the prospects and customers we're looking for are like resort owners. Like a resort owner's got right. people that dive, the diving resorts, and then it's also got just like the families, and then right. it's got maybe uh, people that like the uh, spring break crowd. You would want to segment those because it's a different, different communication for different audiences, right? That's right. Very exactly. Cool. That's very cool. Yeah. So this thing I know can be used, Skype can be used to actually showcase a property. Um, I did it with Preston. I was in uh, Kingston, New York, walking along the boardwalk with all the the boat, sailboats and things, and I could actually do it with my phone on Skype, showing Preston all of the different boats, and he could actually see the actual property in real time. So I could, you know, show right. him that there's not a bunch of seaweed on the beach and all that kind of stuff. So I wonder if maybe Preston Absolutely. can share a little bit about what he's got that also uses the concept of video, and that's what kind of got us into this idea right. of using Skype video. So Preston, could you share a little bit about what you're doing with like live webcams? Yeah, absolutely. Well, one of the biggest things uh, in marketing right now, uh, especially content marketing, is uh, visual marketing. And everybody's talking about the pictures and everybody's talking about video, but no one's really talking about live, real, HD video and actually streaming it. So what the company has done, uh, hooked up with them, he's actually a good friend of mine uh, from a different business that we were working with, and uh, he's actually from Italy but he speaks English and a little bit of Spanish too, which is was interesting in itself. And uh, he introduced me to the whole concept of, uh, you know, webcams and how powerful they can be. And I've, you know, I've seen other webcams and they only take a picture and then eight seconds they refresh and take another picture. And I'm like, well, that's not live. <laughs> but when I saw the, right. the examples that he showed me, I was like, wow, this is live. So. Brad, if you can share the screen with the um, people here, we can kind of go through what they can see, I can. and you know, it's not a picture, it's not a video. <laughs> yeah, this it's was real amazing. Time. It's real time. So I can't do it because I'm on my tablet, so that's the reason that uh, <laughs> it's not available to me. Yep, I can see it now. Perfect. So if you go here, uh, and you can go, and this is just ones that we set up in Roatan which is a beautiful island here in, in Honduras. Uh, but as you can see, we have things in Italy, Malta, other places around the world. Um, yeah, I'll go just go Bay Beach. All over here. Look at all these different places. Yeah. And a lot of them wow. are on, you know, by the Italy side in Europe. And so a lot of visitors come in there. But what we found is about 9 million visits per month are coming to our cameras. Now, not everybody's going to go to the specific camera that I have in Honduras, but a lot of them do. Um, most people, if you click on Bananarama West Bay as an example, you will notice that on the bottom, when you scroll down a little bit, you'll actually see the number of hits, or meaning that how many people have actually gone to that camera. Look, it's in real time. Installed it's installed a real boat and a real person. Isn't that amazing? Boats and going in. This people, is this is happening right now. Right now, at this particular <laughs> moment, if I could transport Around myself. If I could have one of those time machines, not the time machines, one of those things from Star Trek, I could yeah. beam myself right here. I would see that boat coming in exactly the same time. Exactly. Wow. And right so, now there's 88 people that are actually watching this right now. Exactly, including us. And it's had you know, 487,697 hits. Yep. 80 well, people uh, watching live right now. The thing that Preston and I are working on right now is actually getting this these people to engage. Like these people that are walking by here right now, maybe their yeah. daughter is in college, and wouldn't it be cool if they could walk up to the camera and start waving and saying hi and stuff? We were on vacation, blah blah blah. Yeah, that would be and, great. And, and some of and, and some of our cameras, and again, it depends upon if the owner wants them or not. Will actually have audio on them. You know, so it is possible we can do that. We just have to figure out what is the best way to do it to be able to increase obviously views to the camera which will of course increase more visitors to the person's website because if you look on the right hand side you see it's hosted by Bananarama when you click onto that it automatically goes to their website and what happens is people can book directly and I know with, with uh, Bananarama and some other ones that I set up 
they have seen continual ROI on it. And you can even see it in some of the uh, comments that come in from people all over the world saying, I'm going to be there this Thursday, or I will be there in two weeks, or yes, because of this camera, I'm here, you know, wow. so wow. it's pretty interesting. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and so there is comments below it. That's great, because yep. we love that interaction. We love the engagement aspect exactly. of it. Exactly. And, you know, the ROI is there. Within a few months, he basically paid for the camera and the hosting of the camera. So now we got in there at the right time last year, and we had an introductory price. Right now, it is a lot more expensive, to be honest with you. But the beautiful thing is it's a lot higher quality than what even this camera is. And you can see that if you go to um, uh, Venice, uh, you can go to the front, wow. the front page, you can see that. Venice there Grand Gran Canal. Yep, Grand Canal. This is exactly in Venice. It's a lot better quality, and you should be able to actually hear, hear stuff. I think they put an audio really on this it. one. Can you hear it, Brad? Yeah, this I is can. on Brad's computer. Yep. What so, can you hear? <laughs> I hear people talking, and I can hear the boat motors. And Wow. So you're totally immersed in that emotion, which basically draws people into your hotel. Again, you go to the the right, scroll, scroll up a little bit, Brad, and you'll see on the right-hand side, I mean, scroll down. <laughs> well, this one isn't open. I oh, okay. Open yeah, you have to open it because this is the, this is the main one. And what, 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 what the site does, it actually will, will, will put the top cameras that are showing right now on the front page. Which one was and it? And we actually have it by live categories and oh, things like that. Oh, that's what makes that. it show up on the home page is the, yep. the most people viewing it? Is that yep. how it works? Yep, that's how it works. 172 people watching Venice right now. Ah. <laughs> so so it's a pretty popular camera. And the cool thing, too, is yes. you can see social proof coming in, too. This is organic. This is something that we're not advertising. This is what people go to. They like it. They send it out to their friends. See, look at that. I'm so happy I found this website showing these great locations. Five days ago, somebody said that. So we are getting the traffic that, that resorts need to be able to convert and be able to bring in more bookings, right. bottom line. You know, we also have one This is interesting. If you go to Malta, Brad, and go to um, that one underwater camera, we yeah. also do it's have top. that also available. Malta is the right, yep. Oh, underwater. Yep. So if you click on that one, Brad. Where is it? The top is sort of orange. Oh, there it is. There yeah. it is. Yep. When you showed it to me, it was sort of green. Was yeah. it the same camera or different? It is. Different it lighting, is. different time of day, maybe. Yep. So oh, you can look watch at the this. fish. Yep. I can hear you can see the fish. Can live. <laughs> Does that one have sounds? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. some pollution. There's oh my paper. God! Somebody Who did that. It's a cup or something. A note. A receipt. Oh, it's a styrofoam cup. What's, what's a receipt horrible. from my hotel? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Got my credit card information on it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's the beautiful thing about it. You know, it's you, you, I mean, how many people have underwater cameras? Wouldn't that be cool to have it in Florida? Oh, it's a or diving place. Dive Malta. Yeah. Yep, right. Exactly. Scuba so, diving. Very cool. And only 194 people are online, so you know it's not a big deal. <laughs> you know, I can see how, like that example of the trash. I mean, this is live. We didn't plan yep. this. You know, the no. example of a little piece of trash going by. This seems like a motivation for uh, an incentive for people to keep, you know, for sustainability, for yep. for keeping the ecology and the the uh, the healthiness of our planet and in our oceans, the sustainability Absolutely. of things, uh, the beauty of nature, to keep that intact. And as you can see, you can see the weather, you can see a time lapse, if you want to see the whole 24 hours, you can have a map of where it's located. So this is, this is something that the company's been working on for quite many years, almost four years now. It took about two years in just development of the cameras, but they do manufacture the cameras and according to what I've heard is uh, they can go scalable, so if somebody has a chain of resorts or whatever the case may be, we can scale it up. So what does the timeline do? The timeline is a time lapse, so it goes from the morning to the evening in a like a, a fast, fast picture type of thing. Huh. You can click That's onto it. Brad. Yeah, you can probably click onto it and see. There's a live 
Can you make, can you make a flower blossom or something? Oh, there you go. <laughs> wow. You could, well, you could see inside. all the colors, the colors of the times of the day changing. Yeah. Oh my God, that's beautiful. A little bit different than you've seen in a video <laughs> or a picture. You can't you can't capture that in a picture. Right. So, so how does the winter go? time up in, in, in your cold up in the northern part, you can put it on time lapse and you can hurry up and get to the summertime. <laughs> or watch yep. the changing of the seasons. That can be beautiful in itself. Yep. And then we also have the ability, which is really neat, is let's say you have it on a resort and you have it. Um, I, I have a place here, unfortunately, the uh, memory card kind of collapsed and I'm trying to get it back up and running. The resort owner just doesn't have the time to put it in there. But he has it actually facing the event area of his resort, and you can see weddings there. It's awesome. So if those people who can't attend, they can still attend live because it's an event camera now. Oh. And in addition, because of the fact that he has that as an event area, he can record that and sell it to the people who are not there or who are there and right. want to keep a memory of it. So if there's a lot of well, great opportunities. Well, that's a opportunities. beautiful example. Beautiful yep. example. Remote wedding attendance <laughs> and, and videoing it. That's a gorgeous uh, angle there. You can yep. see the palm trees waving in the breeze, people walking on the pier and in their boats. Yeah, and then if you the go back to, now this is, this is in Florida, this is our newer camera, but you can see a lot of people have visited it. And uh, 90 people, of course, are online watching it. So I want to get more in Florida. That's where I'm going to focus on. But anywhere yeah. in the U.S., I can basically put these cameras together, and uh, we can talk to anybody about it. It makes uh, makes it uh, you know a, a ROI for their business. You know, but it you looks can also like uh, anywhere in the world you can put anywhere one in of the world. So so if you go to the right hand side, Brad, you see the top live cameras. Well, you actually can see um, the Parthenon and some Upper other places, right. the Colosseum oh. in Rome. Yeah, you Can showed me squares. something that night the other day. Mm -hmm. I Click think on it the was second one, Brad. Yeah, the second one. That's like going here. I could actually pin these on my Pinterest, right? Yep, you can do that too. Uh, yep. Really? Marketing. Yep. Really? I yep. just pin it right there. Oh my gosh! Would it, and it would be a video, just like you pin a video on Pinterest. A lot of Correct. people think it's only images, but if you're if you can pin a webcam on Pinterest, I didn't even think of that. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you want me to do? Just click on that second one. Uh, it looks like the Parthenon, but it's uh, somewhere in Italy. I can't remember. It is the Parthenon. <laughs> oh, okay. The one you look at that. You showed me a night scene the other day where there yep. was yeah. There's a performance. You can see sort of maybe that's happening here over on the left. There's sort of a group of people in blue and white. Yep. Maybe this not. This is by a fountain. Was... So fountains, fountains in, in cities are a great, great way to people, you know, 164 people are viewing this right now. You know, it, wow. it, it's just the more activity the camera has, the better views you will get, meaning the more views you get, the more ROI will come back to you. Right. The more visitors will come because they'll click on and say, well, where is this? I want to stay at this hotel who's hosting the camera, you know. And then you can also do something kind of fun. Brad, if you go down to the bottom here, uh, scroll a little bit down on the, on the actual cam. Keep on going down a little bit. Okay, now on the right-hand side where it says live, no, nope, you went a little bit too far. <laughs> what was the delay? Live web. Yep. View live webcams. Yeah, where it live says live. Cameras. Go to the go to the top right-hand corner of that live uh, little button there, and there should be uh, there it is. Now click onto that. This now you can see it full screen. screen. Yep. Yep. Go ahead. Oh, full screen. Okay. Click on it and oh my see. gosh. There you go. Now you yeah, can have it as a screensaver. So anytime you want to escape your job or your work or whatever you're doing, your family, <laughs> visualize yourself interesting, there. Interesting idea. The resort could actually put uh, flat screens inside of their yep. complex that show the outside. Exactly. Or vice yep. versa. Yeah, you can, you can use this for so many different applications. I mean, we even have uh, traffic cameras in Malta right now that the Department of uh, Traffic in Malta wanted to have to just kind of view what's going on with the traffic. But there's some pretty cool locations. We do have something in, in our writing of the web that if you don't have a beautiful location, that's okay. You can still have a camera. It will actually go on your website, but it won't go on actually our site. So you but judge you still the, have a camera. You have, you have a 
a panel of judges that say whether yep. it's beautiful or not. Exactly, because they're looking, you know, they're looking at trying to get more traffic organically, and the more traffic, the more beautiful places, the more, you know, everybody wins. So, well, and, and what we also found, what we also found is that when you're in a certain location, you know, people right now, if you go to Google, and you type in webcams uh, in Honduras, let's say, you're going to come up with ours almost right immediately. You know, or webcams in Florida. You know, you or webcams. Yeah, why not? Really low competition, no competition. Exactly. I mean, there are, there are there's there, there are competition that's out there, but nothing compared to what webcam uh, Honduras. Yeah. Webcam Basically, Honduras. all of the webcams for a particular location would fit on one page <laughs> at this point, right? Second. Look at that. <laughs> Number that's the first one. <laughs> webcam Honduras, the first one. Skyline, Skyline Let's webcam. Oh wow, yeah. very cool. Okay. You know, so well, I'm gonna. So even, uh, oh, go ahead. I'm going to close this off and get back into our Yeah, go song. ahead. Yep, yeah, yeah, no problem. Thanks, thanks for letting me go through all that. I appreciate it. I didn't think I'd have that much time. <laughs> Let's see if I can... So now, yeah, yeah. Is it Brad, we want to talk about what you're doing because obviously that's just going to enhance everything that we do. Are we back here now? We are. Okay. <laughs> so that that's uh, part of the power, and you notice that there's a big uh, the, the program Periscope has been around for a while, but there's a surge for it. Everybody's wanting this this real time interaction, and uh, Meerkat is another one, and everybody's doing that kind of thing. And Skype has been around for a while, and people like have used it as a glorified telephone, a free telephone, but they can actually start using it, uh, the video part of it, and do like what I did, walking the beach and showing Preston the property. You know, realtors could use this kind of thing. Um, we've got a uh, person uh, that's uh, in Roatan there, and she's got a, uh, uh, they, they rent houses, I believe, for yep. vacation houses. And you can actually walk yep. around and show somebody, show a client the rooms with your phone using Skype so that they can see what's actually going to be there. They, they know there's no cockroaches running around and stuff. Right. <laughs> I think that's, a, that's very powerful for a, uh, like a resort owner or a bar, uh, you know, a tourist attraction kind of thing. Right. Um, in Angle, where I live, there's a La Zoom comedy bus tour. They could actually get people on Skype talking with people and show them the shows that are going on you know, in real time. So I think right. that's very exactly. cool. So now, yeah. Julie... You can, uh, you're going to be able to teach people how to actually, like you're talking about, like segmenting and a little List. more details of how to utilize Skype for a business. Right. Yeah. Um, my website, as you can see um, in my lower third, oh, where is it? There. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's um, on Skype.com. Skype. <laughs> see you on Skype.com. That's it. That's it. So <clears throat> what I do there is I, I help, um, at this point, s scaling from the individual small business owner, um, networker, to, uh, to full businesses of all types, coaches, um, all kinds of business uses. Anyone can use Skype. And they can use it for more than video. They can actually build a responsive list. So one of we talk about in marketing and um, you know the online presence and the whole advantage of the internet is that when somebody comes to your site, you can get them to return by having them um, give you their information, give you hopefully their email, sometimes their phone number. Um, in my case, I encourage businesses to also take people's Skype ID in the right uh, in the right moment or to the right traffic to the right audience, and um, and so you can actually build a list of contacts in Skype. Now, lots of people that I've worked with have built a list of hundreds and thousands of contacts in Skype, and we've done that with Skype tools. But what I want to teach is taking that to the next level, which is segmenting your lists in Skype. So one of the benefits of Skype list building um, over email list building um, to, to get a customer who's visited your site back by sending them a follow-up email um, is, to, is with Skype, it's always delivered. With email, you know, 
there could be spam issues, people's inboxes could be overcrowded, and with Gmail, oh my god, with the tabs, you may not even see which tab it's in. <laughs> so with, with Skype, um, if you've got a person who you've got the engagement, you know, they want to talk to you where they want better yet, for scaling your business, they want to talk to your community that, you're, that you've built. Um, or your collaborators together. So like, as an example, using the, again the resort owners, say there yeah. was a like um, Preston, wasn't there? There's in Honduras. There's a uh, fishing trip or, or fishing competition. Yeah, fishing, or yeah, fishing competition. Yep, coming up. Yeah, in there's September, a big yeah. competition coming in. So right. if a resort owner had a list of people that from last year that visited the mm -hmm. fishing thing, and that could be integrated also with Twitter because you can start using specific uh, hashtags yeah. and things to build that list. Now, when uh, it's a couple months before, you can say, book your room now because they're going to sell out because the tournament's coming. Yeah. Can really so when a resort owner has that kind of knowledge or system, they can right. get a step ahead rather than everybody else just hoping to find people. Very cool. Right. 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 So the, you know, the benefits uh, are the delivery. You can't miss it. An unread message is orange. It's always delivered. The only challenge is if you've got people that are engaged in Skype. So the community aspect of building community in Skype helps with that engagement. Um, there's just a lot of advantages to building your lists in Skype and then segmenting those lists using tools for broadcasting to many people at once who actually want the amazing information that they opted into or visited your website for to begin with. Well, that's exactly it. Uh, using the fishing analogy again, if someone is going to that tournament because they went last year and they go every year, they want to know when the rooms are available yes. they want, so they don't miss out on that block. Have you ever yes. gone to a, a big event and you find out there's no rooms and you got to stay in some flea bag motel because you missed out? Right. I have. <laughs> <laughs> they so might I'll... get the email. They might be watching your email. But if you've given them a reason to be watching their Skype, for those kind of updates, that's does, even better. Does Skype integrate somehow with like with Twitter and Facebook and, and things? I, it I know does integrate with Facebook. Um, if you connect your Facebook to your Skype, you can actually send a Facebook message to someone from your Skype. And you can yep. see their answer back that they're typing into Facebook in your Skype. Well, that's some of the stuff of that uh, Preston and I are working on. We're work, working with the social media platforms because right now, like I'm going through my... Facebook thing and I'm separating, I'm, I'm deleting a lot of people in there because I just, I have no idea who they are or why they got there or whatever, so I'm removing a lot of them so I can actually have a small amount that I can manage because right now yeah. it's overwhelming. It's called so cleaning you your to, list. Yeah. <laughs> yep. cleaning your I, love to see, I love to see the unsubscribers, you know. I started a new Skype marketing list um, for, for July and um, and for the rest of the year and I couldn't believe the number of people because I've engaged in this huge many many communities in in Skype the number of people that opted in when I haven't even been keeping my lists in my autoresponder warm and um, they you know they they will come and, and you know when I see my stats in my autoresponder where people are subscribing right uh, building my email list it I love to see that I'm getting 10 or 12 subscribers or 3 or 4 subscribers and I have twice as many unsubscribers. That means that I'm getting a more responsive, more relevant following in my email list. It's actually going to read my email. So getting cleaning your list is a great thing to do. And, and we can and do can that actually, in Skype. You can actually intentionally promote to get, for, for people to get on Skype with you too. Like Preston and I, and I have been working a lot, of, like I said, in the social media stuff and doing some stuff with right. Twitter and hashtags. Yeah. So you'd be able to do some promotion. You, you can really narrow down using hashtags on on uh, Twitter. We found one uh, scuba. <laughs> hashtag scuba. Hashtag scuba. <laughs> scuba, yeah. They will retweet to divers. There's a thing called dive bot. So the power in that is you wow. can just hashtag once and then they retweet out to all the divers. So if a resort owner is looking for divers, you'd be able to do an type of tweet using scuba hashtag saying that you know Roatan is the second largest reef in the world. Come and dive right. Roatan. Right. Put them into your Skype 
and start communicating with them like we're doing now about what's happening there in Rotan. Very so awesome. If you, if you be strategic about how this stuff gets done and then you work with people like Preston and I and yourself that know these certain little things like hashtag scuba, a lot of people <laughs> don't know that. But our team, <laughs> there's techniques to actually direct people into whatever your agenda is. And right. sometimes I use the uh, analogy of like an algebra analogy. Whatever you want to have happen as the sum total, you just figure that out and then just put the things in place to make it happen. It's really not that complicated wow. when you think That's it a good analogy. It's That's a very good analogy. Mind. Yeah, I love talking about content creation and social uh, social marketing, social media, social networks. Um, I love uh, helping people get that engagement out on social. That's why I'm so excited about the Pinterest and the webcams. Um, it's like beautiful pictures. Or they go viral. Um, this mm -hmm. this would really go viral. Oh my God! But content creation is an area that I would like to expand into with my uh, training and I also I have do it for you service as well as training at CU on Skype um, to get that uh, you know that beautiful content that does get shared all over the internet and you can do that in community you can have you can have a, a campaign or an event happen where you get, you have an engaged community on Skype and everybody gets involved in it, all of a sudden they're sending people to wherever you want them to be online, whether it's watching a YouTube video or watching um, a Google Plus post or you know, a, a Twitter stream or you know, wherever you want them to go, Facebook, uh, no, I LinkedIn. Had, I just had an idea. Wouldn't it be fun if uh, Preston could work something out where we do some kind of training or something down there on the island of Rotan and we get a bunch wow. of people there with our cell phones and we go in front of these cameras that are pointing at Bananarama and the West End and all that and start actually being there doing the stuff, Skyping and yeah. hashtagging. Hashtag scuba, hashtag scuba. <laughs> Gary at WestendDivers.com. Hashtag exactly. Skype marketing. Hashtag Skype communities. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you right. could do a lot of stuff with that, with those hashtags, you know. And like I said, Brad kind of got me into that lately, and I've heard about it, but I didn't see really the power of it. But now I do, because any time that you type that in, in Twitter or even Google or even Facebook, Facebook doesn't work as well, but uh, it basically categorizes them so anybody that uses it can see it. So right. it well, Some people overdo it, too. They try yeah. and put these, these spam hashtags, but if you can weave the hashtag in with the, the conversation, right. right? You can say like, "Come to Roatan and experience a scuba diving experience on the beaches." You never forget. <laughs> then, then you yeah, can exactly. Then. Yep, and that's what I do too yeah. a lot. And most of my posting is I basically write a sentence and have those hashtags in between those sentences, but don't overuse it. Don't do more than three at a time, and it has to be relevant to that information. So Right. But Brad, Sometimes. you know, you've talked a lot about us, and I appreciate that, but what do you do? Yeah. I'm just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying the Internet lifestyle, I see. It is. Yeah. <laughs> well, a little bit about me, I'll give you my story. When I was a little kid, a friend of my brother's made a quarter disappear, and he pulled it out of my ear, and it just fascinated me with the concept of magic, realizing that there's a fine line between perception and reality. It's really how you look at it. And I started doing magic as a kid and did that through grade school as a hobby. And then into high school, I started making some money. And then when I graduated, everybody said, Brad, you should get a job. So in 1975, I got a job with the county parks department. Oh, that's and not I worked bad. a couple of years and I got laid off. And I thought, where's my gold watch? <laughs> so I thought right then, there's no security in having a job. So I just became self-employed and I started performing and my method of marketing was I wanted the event planners to come to me. I didn't want to chase event planners because Oh my god. What I do is being, I being the hunted, <laughs> being the chased, I having people it. find you, that's inbound marketing. I love that stuff. I created a trade show yeah. for event planners. It was called the Great Minnesota Event Show and now it was called the Event Planners Expo. And it was a resource trade show for event planners to come and find their caterers, balloon decorators, limousine services, staging, lighting, entertainers, magicians. And they would come there and they'd fill out a little form that says, my name's Tammy, I'm from 3M, we have a company picnic for 3,000 people, we got a budget of $15,000, we want a pig roaster, a bouncy thing for the kids and a magician. I'd go, there's my lead. 
<laughs> I know when it is, where it is, how much they got. And, and that's how I want. generated my leads for many years. And wow. then I got into producing other shows, health and wellness shows, and I had a, uh, I, I got really busy with the company I was building. And I was working almost every day and weekends, and it got stressful. We did about 10, 11 shows a year. And I had a mild stroke. This was a few years ago, in 2002, something like that. And that's when I said, I'm not going to die in this office, tethered to a, a chair or imprisoned in a cubicle, and I decided to live with a laptop. So now I'm doing marketing for people, um, using attraction marketing techniques by creating a buzz and interest and all that using the internet, and I'm mobile. I, wherever there's a Wi-Fi connection, I can basically get things done. Like, even if I don't have a Wi-Fi connection, like when I was in Kingston, New York, I had my phone with my 3G account, and I could mark it. I did, I did a little walk and talk um, video to a guy that has a tri, a tri catamaran, a three-hull catamaran, and he's got a thing down there called Hudson Sailing. So I did a little video for him and showed off his boat on the, on the docks. So I'm a, basically a mobile marketer. <laughs> exactly. That's great. And then, you know, that, that's where everything's moving, though. You know, if, if, you don't, if you don't have a tablet, if you don't have a mobile phone, you know, you're really not in business anymore. I mean, smartphones are the, the new way to communicate, and video is just the step that is necessary. It's I wanted to ask you, um, so these webcams can be viewed on... Your mobile, yep. your smart sure, device. Yep. Yeah, just go to just go to mobile.skylinewebcams.com instead, and you can see any of your mobile device. Or just go to a Google uh, browser and type in Preston Video. Yep, Preston <laughs> Video or Synergy Cafe. Or we got now Synergy Video, which I think is a good appropriate one to we use too. Some so. hashtags so that when people are looking for us, they just click on the hashtag and they find all of our stuff. Yep. Right. It's all organized in a very simple manner. Well, I know we, we went over the half hour mark. I know yes. it's, no one's, it doesn't look like uh, people are having any questions here. I just looked at the uh, event. Uh, is there any parting words that we want to talk about? I do. I have one. That's the power of this is we don't know how many people are actually there commenting and stuff, but what we get to do with this is record this and then post-promote it. So now we get to yep. utilize this video and propagate it. We put it on a program I've got called Staged and that has our advertisement and our, our, uh, our customers' advertisements and things on it. And we propagate that out to the Internet with keywords and hashtags and put it on blogs and social media and websites, and it's out there forever. Exactly. So we can, we can get the attraction marketing happening to, uh, to serve the resort owners and the real estate people and the scuba, you know, anyone who this might apply to, um, we can serve them with the attraction marketing by by simply having it's so easy to create content and my, my so final parting, parting words is to any resort owners that got a beautiful tropical exotic resort that want to pay and have us come down to your resort and market it and promote <laughs> it we're available we just got to coordinate exactly. the date right guys that's right <laughs> exactly we'll make it happen <laughs> Okay. Yep, a, a, a little stipend on that. You know, and the other thing I want to add on that, you know, I know we talk a lot about resort owners and those, but if you're in marketing and if you are working with the Pacific people that we are going after, why not hook up together and create the synergistic opportunities that I know we can do Absolutely. together? Um, yeah. With more people on a team, we can really cover everybody's business as long as you, again, cater directly to the resorts or can take your business, like Julie just found out, <laughs> and actually can cater it directly to the resorts as well. So right. that's my parting words. I don't have my little lower third, but if you want to learn more about me, go to PrestonOdenBrett.com. Google <laughs> me. I'm all over the place. <laughs> We can we can put that. Um, let, let's put our um, URLs in the comments, and I will add them to yep. the description. So anytime people uh, click over to the description, I'll put it both under the YouTube video and on the uh, Google Plus event, so people can find our sites and connect with us wherever we are. <laughs> put your hashtags, <laughs> and um, and yeah, come and find us, engage with us, and. Uh, we love the world of the new world. What can we say about the new world, Brad, of uh, mobile entrepreneur, lifestyle entrepreneur? <laughs> it's not new. This is just the way it's always been. 
It's just yeah, different. Exactly. Food. It just it's takes just more time. Technology you know? now. <laughs> Remember back in the olden days when you wanted to go see Grandma, you used to have to jump in the wagon train and go way across from the East Coast to the West Coast. Now you can just Skype Grandma. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Risk your life and the life of your family and all your possessions on the way across the continent. Yes. Oh, just Skype them. <laughs> I've heard about that. <laughs> okay, Julie, appreciate you pulling this together and initiating this hangout. So let's sign off and let these people get back to their lives and uh, tune in. Subscribe. Nice to meet you all. Come and visit. <laughs> Thanks, bye. Skype us. I'll see you on Skype, everybody. <laughs> so